behave! It's releasing its ether! Fall back! We cannot let it touch us! Quickly, my lord, we must withdraw! That will not be necessary, Captain. Though I appreciate your concern, the eternal light of these creatures has confounded us for nigh on a hundred years. For each we have put down, another has risen up in its place, born of the self-same ether relinquished by its predecessor. But now we have a way to contain that corruption. The blessing of light. And the hero who wields it now stands before you. Behold, the monster's power is broken, and the world, twisted by its touch, returns to its rightful form. Is that what I think it is? The night sky, as it should be. Who are you people? You killed a warden, then bathed in its ether as if it were a spring shower and now the sky? The legends are true. My lord? How have I waited for this moment? For the one possessed of her blessing. For you. You have vanquished the Light Warden of Lakeland, 
and for the first time in a century, darkness has returned to the mantle of night. Without the ever-present light to sustain them, the Sin Eaters will have no choice but to retreat. Yet our victory is far from complete. Though darkness has fallen here, the other Wardens yet bask beneath burning skies, feasting upon what little life remains. Even should it cost me all I have, I would see each and every one of them slain, that this world might be spared from oblivion. Not only for the first, but for the source as well. Save one, and we save the other. But, be that as it may, I concede it was wrong of me to summon you to this fight against your will. I swear on my life, I will one day atone for that deed, but for the present, I beg you, stay and see this fight to its conclusion. Cast down the Wardens and restore darkness to the first. On behalf of the First, I offer you my deepest thanks. I understand there is much at stake here, Exarch, but why do you risk yourself so readily? It must have been a dangerous drain on your ether to summon even one person across the rift. I do it for my people, of course. To give the Crystarium the tomorrow it deserves. That is true now, yes, but the city had yet to be built when you first called forth the Crystal Tower. I'm simply curious to know what prompted you to commit yourself so completely to this particular course. There are... things... which we can ill afford to lose. And... I sensed from the first that I had a part to play in preserving them. <laughs> Forgive me. I fear the events of the day may have taken their toll. Despite appearances, I am an old man. One burdened with many difficult memories, some too painful to recall. Well then, I'm sorry for pressing you. It's a family failing, I'm afraid. <laughs> One which has served us well more often than not. Needless to say, we will continue to fight at your side until the last Sin Eater is defeated. Come then, my warriors of darkness. Let us gather the surviving villagers and make our way back to the Crystarium.